Guys, it's Aviation Sean coming back with another airport video, and uh, today's an exciting one for the channel because it's a first. Uh, this is my first American airport on the channel, and um, this is sort of a small mashup of, um, well, you could call it Salt Lake City, I suppose. Um, we've just thrown some models together and cheap terminal, and yeah, we've just put some stuff together and. I was just looking at airports that I could possibly do with the models that I've got because I don't have many American models. I've got a few. Um, and I wanted to do an American airport because I do the the two industry, the two aspects of the industry that I focus on, the two segments are the American, the North American market, mainly the United States, um, and obviously Europe because that's where I live. So I just want to get into the American kind of side more, uh, and this is Salt Lake City. So we'll get straight into it. I've got the routes on my other phone because unlike Europe, I'm not very good at thinking of these kind of things off the top of my head. Got a bit of practice to be doing <laughs> with American stuff, which is good because it's something new, but um, it's just exciting really to start. So we're going to start with a Southwest 737-700 with service to Baltimore, Washington. And then we have this um, Delta 717 with service to Pasco. This would be operated by an E175, um, but I don't have one, so I just stuck the 717 in. And the Baltimore route's cool because my um, my cousin, my first cousin, in fact, actually lives in Baltimore. So I actually have got a reason to visit Baltimore in the future um, to go and see my relatives. So that would be cool. Uh, visit Washington and hopefully travel around a bit as well. But that's going to be a long time waiting because of COVID and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's not get our hopes up. But, yeah, be cool. Then we have this Delta E350-900 with service to none other than Atlanta, Hartsfield, Jackson. And then we have this Alaska Airlines 737-800 uh, with service to and from Seattle. Great city, great music. I love Seattle. Got a lot of respect for it. That's where bands like Nirvana and Foo Fighters are from, so, you know, I've got to respect that. And then we have this United A319 in the new livery, looking good as ever, with service to Denver. In fact, no, I was going to send this guy to Houston, so this guy will be going to Houston. And then we have this Delta A319 with service to Jackson in um, Mississippi, if I'm right about that. So, you know, if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. I'm sure a few, I'm sure I got drilled by Americans, but for, for doing this kind of stuff, because obviously I'm not very familiar, but you know, you gotta start somewhere. I don't see American collectors doing uh, European airports, so <laughs> you gotta respect the assertiveness of doing this. Um, we have a Delta A321 here with service to Fort Lauderdale, and then this Delta 757 with service to and from Detroit. Then we have this FedEx 757F on stand for the rest of the day before flying to Ontario later on this evening. And then we have this Southwest 737-800 with service to Chicago Midway. So that's just about it. I haven't really got many models to mess around with for this airport, so we're going to leave it at that. Um, just a quick video to put out on the channel, I guess. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave your comments down below. And um, give us some more airport ideas for US airports that I could do. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.